hey guys welcome back to another video if you're new here i'm amorous and this is sprucing up mayhem i am working my way through my house in 2024 to declutter everything that i own and i am excited that you are here that you clicked on this video and i hope that this video gives you motivation to get some decluttering and organizing done yourself this decluttering process has definitely not been linear for me but progress over perfection is what i'm going for any step forward is a step in the right direction so without further ado let's get into it you on a little tour as to the disaster that this closet is I redid this closet um, last year and it worked for a long time but things have just gotten really chaotic and full accumulating more things school has restarted so we have our snow bag in here and two violins at the moment because my daughter started taking violins uh, violin lessons this year and then this is the spot that my husband always keeps his gym bag so that has to stay but this shoe area is a giant mess it is <laughs> the bane of my existence when I come in here to get something um, to wear out of the house which is not very often but it's just there's no organization anymore and that has to be remedied today there's, I know that there's things in here that we can get rid of, shoes that my kids have outgrown, and we have to just deal with this coat situation. So I'm going to set you up and figure out what we can get rid of out of this closet.
I can't believe all of this fit in the closet in the first place, but all of these baskets are supposed to be like our gloves, hats, and scarves, like type things. This is a pile of all of our bags that were in there. There's a ton of stuff in here that can either get relocated to another room or just completely gotten rid of. So I was happy to see that as, as I was taking stuff out. And then these are all of the coats and things. There's some long lost hoodies that I know that my husband was probably looking for. So <laughs> a ton of stuff that can get uh, sorted out of this closet for sure. Then as far as the shoes, hmm, this is interesting. I know that there's a few pairs of my shoes that I can get rid of, but my husband has the least amount of shoes out of everybody in the house, and he also has to access his shoes the most. So I'm going to basically leave his stuff be, but instead of having three crates in there, we're only gonna have two because this crate is broken. I know that I could probably fix it, but I'm going to try to narrow down our shoes enough that we don't need three baskets. So one good thing is that our kids' shoes, we got them shoe organization things for their room when we did our room, their room makeover. So some of their things can get relocated to their room. And then one of the next big projects that I want to do is redoing our master closet. And I want to put some shoe storage into our actual closet in our bedroom. So I'll, I think a lot of this is gonna be narrowed down anyway, but I do know that there are at least two or three pairs of shoes of my own that I can get rid of. So I'm gonna go ahead and sort through all of this stuff and get everything back into the closet. I have two pairs of these and these are the better quality ones. So I'm gonna keep these and let go of these ones. These are super uncomfortable. These are so grimy. I need to get like a new pair of flats and I'm hesitant to get rid of them because they are my only flats, but it is the middle of winter and I would be embarrassed to wear these anyway. I would not feel confident walking out of the house with these. So I'm just gonna get rid of these, but I'm not gonna donate them because they're so yucky. These are my two pairs of work shoes. I paint and do all my projects in them. I am going to only keep these because they're more versatile. I can like work outside and inside. They're both breathable and these are washable. So I'm just gonna get rid of this grimy pair. I recently wore these to church and they hurt my feet so badly. But again, I'm hesitant to get rid of them, even though I've had them for about five years at least. And the heels are kind of worn down, so my feet like kind of separate and, and go out instead of staying supportive the way they're supposed to be. I just, I have to think about how I felt the last time that I wore these and I was so uncomfortable so quickly. and. They really are starting to wear down a whole lot, so I'm gonna get rid of these, but there are a couple pairs of shoes that I'm getting rid of that I know that I'll be replacing. So I do wanna get my closet situated because I want to have that storage space available for shoes because I can't take over the whole closet just with what I have. <laughs> so I'm gonna go ahead and get rid of these ones also. Those are probably too worn out to donate. Um, so we have quite a few pairs of shoes that we are gonna be getting rid of. I think everything else here we use regularly. They're comfortable, they're still in good condition. So I think that this is a win. I am gonna put my heels and um, I don't know probably just my heels, but like my fancier shoes, I'm gonna put those into my closet because I don't wear them super often. Um, only on like date nights and um, like fancier church occasions and things like that. So I'm gonna go ahead and relocate these to my closet right now because I think three pairs will fit underneath my dresser right now. So I'm gonna do that and then put everything back.
actually works out perfectly. My husband's military boots have a spot right next to his gym bag. None of the shoes are cramped or stacked on top of one another on the shelves. And then because the crates, which are only about two thirds of the way full now, um, because there's only two of them in here, I was able to turn them sideways. And now there's room in front of them for my kids to put their shoes um, along here, which actually works out so much better because I love them to pieces, but having to sort through a bin for them kind of just turned this whole bottom area into a mess and their shoes would end up lined up and just kind of chucked in and we wouldn't be able to open and close the doors because there was so little room between the end of the box and the doors. So instead of them having to sort through their shoes, they can just easily line them up here and I think that's going to be a way better system for our family. I'm really liking how this is turning out so far. things to this pile. We added a speaker. I have another one of those downstairs that we're also getting rid of. My daughter threw a couple toys up here and we added another coat and another hat and I think that's about it. And then this is all the trash that I found between the closet, the bags in the closet, um, and then just miscellaneous throughout the dining room. So that is a pretty nice pile. I'm gonna get it packaged up into a box or two and move on. There are plenty of areas left upstairs for me to still go through, but I was sort of hitting a block. Um, I'm really not wanting to 
declutter and organize my hall closet for some reason and I was watching a 10 tips for decluttering video that my friend Shanna put out. She has a channel here on YouTube called My Life Under Renovation and we have very similar content so if you like my channel you'll also like hers so I would go over and subscribe to her channel too let her know that I sent you and anyway she said something during her video that really resonated with me and it was just sometimes you just gotta go for it and another one of the tips that she shared was that starting in an area that would make a big difference in your day-to-day -day, um, or like overall how you feel um, that's a good place to start and as soon as I was done decluttering my hall my front closet with all of my coats and things in it um, I just kind of hit this block where I just didn't want to do anything anymore. Um, I was kind of over decluttering even though my living room was just piled high with boxes and I had so much more to do. Instead of trying to film all of these areas in my home in sequential order as far as how you move through my home, I decided that I wouldn't let where I'm decluttering on my house stop me from decluttering and I just moved to the first area that made me feel the most frustrated with its state just like Shanna was suggesting and it really helped because I was able to organize and declutter a huge portion of my basement and I, I was able to have it done right before I ended up hosting people and it was just such a weight off of my shoulders to know that a whole room in my basement was totally organized. There was nothing in it that didn't belong there or that we didn't use or want still and so it made cleaning up after hosting easier too and so I'm really thankful for those tips that she shared and um, I hope that if you've had the declutter bug as soon as the new year started and then it started to fizzle out um, hopefully this helps you also because there's no rule or pattern that you have to follow when it comes to decluttering. Even if you only decluttered one shelf in the closet and then got interrupted and you're feeling anxious about going and finishing the job, just move on for now. Move on to a different area that you do feel more prepared to tackle and eventually you will move back around when you have the time, when you have the motivation, when you have the energy. Um, don't let some strict idea of how exactly you should declutter to keep you from decluttering. Um, there's a million ways to go about decluttering. Um, just pick one that works for you. Um, pick an idea or a space or um, just one thing that could move you forward in the idea of decluttering and just go for it, like Shanna says. I drug out this rug and the rest of this bed frame because this bed is going to my mom's. There is a mattress in our laundry room that goes with this bed that is leaving this house also. This is some of the things that I collected last night. I have a few more things up here. I have another blanket in my washing machine right now that I'm going to fold up and add to this. But overall, um, this is what I've collected so far. And now, I need to deal with this mess. I know right off the bat, these are all burnt out bulbs that need to go. 
but I don't really know how to dispose of them. But instead of keeping them in my basement, I'm gonna move them out to my garage. And this is a leaf for our table that's down here, but I don't ever see us having to use this leaf again. So I'm keeping the table, absolutely, but this leaf is gonna go because I, we just can't store it anymore. This giant pile is all of the things that I've decluttered between last episode and this episode, which is episode two in my declutter series. This was a giant pile that I was really proud of, but I was hosting later this evening, so I had to get everything packaged up and like boxed up better so that I could host later that evening. So I went through everything over here. I got all of the trash separated from the things that are actually gonna be going to donate. The bed and rug, all of these boxes are packed absolutely full, just stuffed full of stuff, but it's all categorized to so like toys or clothing or household items. They're all separated by box type. So um, I am going to be getting rid of this, <laughs> this little homemade olive tree that I made. Um, I kept the branches that were more realistic that I used on this tree. I'm going to retry the process, but this one is not working. It is just too tall. I couldn't find a good place for it because of the size of it and the fact that I did not properly cement the stick in place. So it is just wobbly and unsafe. And I host all the time with little kids and I don't want any, this tree falling over on anybody. So I'm just gonna start from scratch. I am going to be decluttering this plant also. I'm not going to just like throw it away. I'm gonna ask somebody if they want it, but it is going to leave my house. I have that uh, leaf from the table downstairs and um, some pieces to a shelf. So uh, oh, this is a bag of clothes and these are all the boxes that I was able to empty by properly you know, stacking all the stuff into the other boxes. So these get to be used and filled again with more donations. I hope you guys enjoyed this decluttering episode. I wanted to give you a last few final shots of everything that I've decluttered over these last two videos. There's more decluttering and minimalism content to come in the future. So I hope that you would consider subscribing and sticking around for that. Any kind of interaction at all with this video or my channel is so appreciated, whether that's likes or subscribes or comments, um, even a dislike if you didn't like the video. Um, anything at all is so appreciated. Thank you for spending a part of your day here with me, and I will see you soon with another video. But until then, bye. Searching for my highs You can say I lost my mind I will keep on holding my head high Even if the sky is falling down